Hey Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tower where you are the High Priestess baby. I hope you had a beautiful weekend, a beautiful 888 portal on Saturday. Happy full super blue moon in Aquarius. We got the full moon ceremony tonight. Register at the first link in the pinned comment below to release through fire ritual and call in your manifestations. Celebrate your wins too, you know? All right. Thank you, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Please help me in pulling insights for the High Priestess Collective. Highest timelines, highest messages for the High Priestess Collective. Foofy, woofy. Love this. Um, you're showing up as like successfully guarded or boundaried or some kind of like successful negotiation is taking place. How many times can she say successful? But it is. Listen to Ariana Grande successful. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and then that's Cancerian energy. There's something, I think someone here is like, uh, what's the word? Someone here has mastered the art of intuition first, boundaries, logic, and strategic planning around the intuition. Especially if you're, okay. Seven, sorry, my brain short circuiting. It's too many at, at one time. <laughs> chariot card. It's sometimes that's a car. So it's like movement, right? This chariot's movement. So if you are Queen of Swords negotiating contracts around purchases of vehicles and or homes, or if you are standing firm in your inner knowing of the direction that you're going even if it doesn't make sense on the outside world to the 3d to the muggle life whatever that means right you in this card you have risen above uh some level of illusion or confusion these clouds are the same clouds that we see in the seven of cups that neptunian i'm not sure i'm not positive is this an illusion is this real energy your transformation that's associated with your cerebral energy see that yellow crown around your head the transformation has been in the headspace did you shift a perspective because can um the chariot's also cancerian energy right so it's that it's that big mother energy big maternal energy but it can also be the home ow um there's some kind of perspective that's being shifted right now or it has already shifted and you're being presented with a path forward or or maybe multiple let's get started it might be multiple paths forward but it looks like you are the one who's like kind of kind of sitting pretty in the power sitting pretty in the power maybe that's the title and it's both your feminine masculine energy out here as the individuals on the card but even with the the lingam and the yoni right that little red symbol for my tarot students that represents like being able to use both to propel forward there's something manifest there's it there's a manifestation pathway on the table it's it's different from a manifestation on the table the pathway or the road that you need to take with ease like the cleared pathway that's on the table that's being presented right now. He's holding the wand that the magician has, you know? So it's like the maybe the manifestation isn't blatantly in your face because there has to be contracts, negotiation, or some kind of strategic plan for movement. But this movement puts you in success, victory. It's also giving like soul contract. This was supposed to happen, maybe specifically at this time. Tell me about the pathway. Wow, that's weird. Okay, why in reversal? That could be overthinking or anxiety. Can I get a little clarity on King of Swords in reverse pathway? Okay, because you're going to have to say goodbye to something for this pathway to be forged. And you could be dealing with somebody, if this is contract related in any way, shape, or form, or communication related. There may be, it looks like there's somebody here on the pathway that is not as masterful as you are either in the communication game, in the contract knowingness, um, or some kind of like boundaries, negotiation, self-worth. 
let's see, five of cups and then the Hierophant's another five. So this, there is a change and it is positive for you. So I'm seeing two different like energies for two different groups here. For one group here, there is 100% a path forward available to you. You might already have peeped it and that's why your energy is showing up so strong. And for that group of people in that very strong energy, you're going to say goodbye to something. Hierophant could, again, it's like, this feels very, like, official. The chariot, the king and queen of swords, and the hierophant, those are very, like, businessy, real estate, um, contract. It's, like, very official. You are going to say goodbye to one commitment in order to move down this path. But it looks like it looks like this path was not made visible to you prior or like you had to break out of a limiting belief. Yeah. Whoa. That's like big, um, big ego work, big healing work here of, um, specifically Taurus, which is the, hi the Hierophant, which is Taurus. And then the eight of swords. It's almost like if you are, if you are connected to or a, in agreement with or in contract with a construct or an obligation that you thought like this is the way it has to be this is the way it should be it looks like you're the one that's actually breaking out of that limiting contract limiting construct even oh there's two keys here so this really might be cars or homes or unlocking the next level of success so it could be the workplace too it's almost like this pathway you didn't see it as a viable option but now it is a viable option the thing is with that king of swords in reverse it's giving like anxiety or overthinking for others of you this is like there is someone that you're gonna have to work with on this path and they don't have the same vision as you, and that's also okay. Because essentially what you've done is there's there's some kind of old, old wound or old, old programming that you've broken up from ten swords to eight swords to these two swords. It's like so the tens have broken up. So there's something that's piercing through specifically around... It looks like it's... Pos it looks like it's possession. Like, um... Possession. Not like evil possession like the hierophant is taurus so it's prosperity it's wealth it's where i live it's the things i'm using it's my actual 3d world there's some kind of limiting belief that like you've you've had to stay in place or this is just you've had to just accept maybe a, a shitty landlord right or like something like that or this could be landlord boss um car dealership like whatever this thing is if this isn't like a material wealth situation which it really does give that it looks like you're standing in the most boundaried version of yourself but this boundaried version of yourself is actually just having very specific standards that you adhere to so it's almost like when you level up in the boundary game it kind of almost doesn't matter if people don't get honor or respect the boundaries because how you move is in a way that does not even entertain folks that don't get this. Wow. Smash that love button for either of those things. If that's the case, this could be like an ex-partner, right? We have the Hierophant card, Five of Cups, King of Swords in Reverse. These could be like the divorced couple or if you disengage from somebody that Maybe at one point you felt like you were in sync or vibrating at the same level, but now you're actively acknowledging this is a this is something that's got to go. It's honestly just keeping me restricted. This contract, this agreement's keeping me restricted, and I'm not in restrictive energy. I'm in my most victorious, successful power to specifically to move, like movement forward. All right. Queen of Swords at the bottom of this deck too. Eight of Pentacles. This was the work that they wanted you to do. Getting really clear on standards, what's um, accept acceptable to you, what feels good to you. 
something else about recognizing, um, are you fine tuning or tapping into your internal spirit, which is fire energy of like, I'll know the, I'll know when it's right. I'll know, um, that phrase strike when the iron's hot. Queen of Swords, the chariot is the ultimate combination of like intuition, movement, practicality, drive and boundaries. There's like a very strong, astute energy here of like, I will know ex at the exact right time when to strike. I will know at the exact right time when to move. I will know the exact right time to deliver this, you know, divorce papers, whatever is going on here. Can I get a little clarity on that King of Swords in reverse? Thanks for being here, Pisces. This is definitely, someone doesn't get your movement or someone, <laughs> you might be like, listen, the goal here is peace. The goal here is harmony. The goal here is how can we make these things work without a headache? And I think that alone might confuse someone who's used to operating in headache, like confrontational or unnecessarily chaotic energy. So it could just be like um, someone you're communicating with that just like does not fucking, <laughs> does not operate like you. But that's not your problem. I think them seeing you actually brings them an idea of like, oh, I, I'm allowed to operate in another way. And that's another five, 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 five. So there's like a major change happening because of this energy you're embodying. What about the higher fit? What's this contract, this higher level commitment? Oh, you might be going back and forth about leaving this thing another five listen trust you over any tarot reader and any tarot spread right but <laughs> all these fives let's say it like this trust what you're seeing trust what you know and trust where you want to go because all these fives are on your side they're saying like you're gonna get it's like yes there may be grief or mourning when you have to say goodbye to this thing but the five of pentacles is clarifying that five of cups so it's like are we really going to spend a lot of time grieving something that is depleting in nature or something that another key that's three keys maybe some of you this is like your third home third contract through third something like that um are we really going to grieve something that's five of pentacles like does it make sense it's like maybe give it five minutes and then keep, keep it moving Five of Swords, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles with a King of Swords in reverse. And then the Eight of Swords in reverse is like, what are we doing here? This is like a, a void contract or like a, what is another word? Not void, but like it, it's no, like there's nothing here for you. There's nothing here for you, period, end of story. Only take this if you're like looking for the confirmation of, I feel like this thing is like been dead, done, over with. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to like jump ship, get in the car, get a new car, get a new home, make a new contract, negotiate for my own success. If that's what you're here to like tap into, this is saying like, yeah, dude, go. Like this is not, this is only restrictive and only chaotic. And you've risen above all that energy, all those clouds, right? And the background of the chariot is so yellow. It's so like enlightened. It's so um, expansive. It's wish fulfillment. And the eight of swords... Too many, but isn't that funny? Page Pentacles, Two of Cups. So something is coming in or something just came in. Like an option available to you. And you're like, if I accept this, I have to give this other thing up. It's one of those. It's not always like that, right? But that explains this Two of Pentacles. It's like, I actually won't be able to juggle these two things. That's also why all these fives are out. Five, 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 five. Can someone look that up? One, two, three, four, five. There are five fives in this reading. And she's the one choosing which bowl's got to go. And that puts her in her sunshine, wish fulfillment, happiness. Page of Pentacles is a, a message of good news. It's like a great offer. It's off, It's like optimism. It's, oh, that's the ideal. It's the ideal offer. It's the ideal contract, the ideal situation. One on this eight of swords. Maybe you needed to be in cocoon mode or butterfly. Um, yeah, like metamorphosis mode to recognize... Whatever it is that you were in, I'm sure it served a purpose at some point. Everything does. At the very least, it mirrors back to us what we believe about ourselves. Mm. Woo! 
Maybe you're in something, a contract or a home or a relationship where you're like, at one point, it showed, at one point, it vibrated with me, right? It like, it resonated with me. But now I have elevated, I've come out of my cocoon, I'm the butterfly, three butterflies on that crown. I have this hot whip, right? <laughs> like I'm ready to make moves, I'm ready to explore the world. The charioteer, they travel all over. So it might also be a little shout out to the nomads watching. Um, the star card's clarifying the eight of swords. So this is like healing a limiting belief. This thing no longer resonates with your vibration and frequency. It doesn't have to mean that this thing is a bad thing. It could, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this limitation that you've placed on yourself of like, I have to stay in this thing, this contract, this, this home, this situation, this way of thinking, it's being healed and, or, or it, it has healed because your energy is showing up so nice. And the other side of the star card is wish fulfillment. So it's like, as we release ourselves from this limiting belief, an actual wish fulfillment is able to come into fruition. You have eight, eight here, which is prosperity. And then eight, eight plus the the chariot is 17, so 1 plus 7 is 8. So between, what what happened this month? This is giving like this month, this is like getting shaken up, you know? Shake it up. Okay, smash that love button if that makes sense. Oh my goodness. I really feel like take this leap of faith. King of Cups underneath that too. You're like, you, you look like you're emotionally prepared for this jump, for this new beginning. This is your rebirth. Also, there's something about baggage. I think back here, if you stay in this energy, that baggage is going to weigh you down. And at some point, when our time is up somewhere, they'll give us the signs, like all these fives, right? And we have free will. So you can listen to them and make moves at your own pace. Or... If it becomes a situation where like it's really no longer aligned for us that's when the tower comes in so that we have like undeniable evidence that the situation is no longer for us and they want us to move out of it sometimes people will just stay in the tower though like tower after tower after tower after tower you're not i know you're not like that but if you're if you need to think back on like a tower moment you had and then think about the signs that were there prior to the tower and then give yourself permission in the now to follow the signs that you're seeing. Kind of like comparing your notes to the last time something like this happened. Okay, so that's, this is the, the beginning of this pathway. As Pisces moves out of this contract or connection or commitment. Wow, healing, temperance, energy. This also, there's going to be a lot more, um, I know fun, it doesn't look like fun is a priority here, but fun is showing up as heart expansive for you in that temperance energy. Something's going to be balanced out for you. And this path to glory, my tarot students, this pathway in the background to the sun is the path to glory. This is actually, this is actually your path. This is actually your path. This is feeling like a U-turn or you went down it and you you've already acquired the lessons you needed. There's, it looks like there's nothing left here for you, Pisces. Um, I know how hard that is though. Like I've been, I've been there so many times. It's so scary. You're like, Oh, I gotta, I gotta rewrite my life. But if you play a little Natasha Bedingfield, the, the rest is still unwritten. Maybe you'll feel inspired <laughs> to be the own, the, your own, um, screenplay of your life. Okay. Well, that's a spirit guide, right? Hermit and Temperance. That's the star in the star card too. So you have the sun and the star, which are both wish fulfillment cards in the background of the Temperance. I think they want you to, this is for the folks who have prioritized peace. And you know, if you had to prioritize peace, you had to be, <sighs> it's like grueling to prioritize peace. You actually have to fight for it. Um, this is big silently healing. This is also big like silently being guided. You are facing this way. And your star crown and your metamorphosis crown is connected to this third eye in the temperance crown. 
you're allowed to trust where you're being guided. This this side feels really fucking nice, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. This feels very soothing, like a little cup of tea. Tell me more about this crew. This is your next chapter. Do you know what else I was feeling with this Hierophant card? It felt so stubborn. It felt very resistant. So whatever is, maybe take inventory this week. Where do I feel resistance? Where do I feel like a struggle, blockages, people not working with me? Or even self, right? Because that could be your masculine energy in overdrive over here. So if this is a self and not a person, it's kind of like a mindset. Like, I, I thought I had to do it this way. Thought I had to stay here this amount of time. Thought I had to honor this contract in X, Y, Z ways. Just reflect on where there's resistance and just note it, track it. And then look to where am I not experiencing resistance? Where is it fluid? Where is it coming with ease? This is giving with ease, being guided towards a more authentic and harmonious existence. The world card is also an extension of Saturn energy. And you know Saturn is in Pisces, right? In retrograde. So because that gives a lot of like revisiting of boundary lessons, Queen of Swords, this is looking like exemplary graduation of honoring self honoring boundaries honoring what really is truly you and you you've 100 percent been guided in this you've never been alone even on the dark nights where you felt alone i see that too okay where are we going where are we going that world chariot in the world big travel energy movement energy or it's a frequency improvement nine nine <laughs> divine path this is where you're supposed to be over here you you got what you needed over here whatever this shit was you got it you're supposed to be over here now there's like much more peaceful stability over here even if i am getting a little bit for not everybody but like there is a bit of aloneness that that doesn't mean lonely though but like if that, if, if there's some kind of like conditioning you have about like something like you're not supposed to be alone in doing this or you pictured this not doing, you pictured yourself doing this not alone, it's in the alone that you actually receive more blessings. That doesn't mean you're always going to be alone, Pisces though. It's just in this particular pathway that you are being guided down with, it's literally guidance, guidance, healing. This is made for you. Two wands, two cups. This is a beautiful thing. Tell me about this nine of pentacles or Pisces. Page of wands in reverse. So you haven't started this yet. Six of pentacles at the bottom. Love that. Ooh. Page of Wands in reverse, Ace of Wands. So you haven't started it, but it looks like the idea is here or the motivation, the inspiration, the awareness is here. Page of Wands in reverse. Give me a little clarity. Do you have to commit to something? That's two of Wands stepping outside the comfort zone. If you are very much aware, like I'm kind of taking a leap of faith here, or I, I'm really stepping into the unknown, I'm following, this feels like I should do this, but I can't explain like the pieces and how this is going to land and where I'm going to end up or how this is going to turn out. I know it's so hard, but that that is what seems to be the message for this. And it's like the two wands that are here, the page and the ace, are also the two wands in this world card. So one of these pieces has come in. This is like you already know. That like you want to go this way. World. Wow. Two of cups. Those are those two of cups. So the universe is. You have a spirit guide. Like a Sagittarius. A Virgo. Spirit guide. Or a guardian angel. Or they could have passed in those seasons. Who's guiding you towards something. But this, it's weird because it's like towards and also away. 
away from something and towards something else. Even the trees in the King Queen of Swords card, the trees, the leaves on the trees, they're blowing that way, this way. So you're being, you're being blown away from one situation. Also, side note, especially if like Five of Swords, Eight of Wands, King of Swords in reverse, if there's somebody that's like messing with your head or just bringing more chaos than necessary, you're allowed to just take that as a sign. It's not your job to heal that person. It's not your job to make them see the light. It's your job to choose you and rise above and make moves aligned with your divinity and logic. That combo is unmatched. That combo is unmatched. And that person will either see that and become inspired by it and do it themselves or not. That's not your, not your concern. This is a little surprising though, right? This pathway is giving like, I knew it was going to happen and I didn't know it was going to happen now or or I I still don't know the direction we're going here. Wow. This is coming in so that you actually feel more peaceful. This is, kind of feels like a transition to set you up for a more fulfilling road like a more fulfilling route I should say there's a way more fulfilling route over here that's going to allow you to connect even deeper wow ten of pentacles anything else with this queen of cups because that queen plus the temperance two of cups that's three cups right so it's celebration it's harvest this might be like you might be about to cash out on some ego dissolution or some restriction that you cut yourself out of. But I think the restriction is more so like, it feels like it's conditioned by society and you've dissolved it or you've actively cut yourself out of it. Knight of Cups in reverse. One more with that. Six of Wands, World, Six of Cups. Love that. Progress forward. So it's healings that Knight of Cups in reverse is also giving dead end, de dead end energy. So as you recognize your victory and success, this whole new world, this route opens up. And again, look, Six of Cups, peaceful. It's sweet. It's kind of like a lesson in not everything has to be hard. And if it's super, some things will be challenging. They'll stretch us. But if things are super, super hard when they don't have to be, right? If you have influence over a situation, you're like, you know, this really could be easier, sweeter, lighter, more joyful, and it's not. They're healing a part of you that thought you had to, like, put up with something. I'm, I'm not... It feels like so many scenarios here. Okay, and tell me about this guide. Yep. It's around, like, what you believe you're worthy of receiving or worthy of experiencing or already quote unquote allowed to experience allowed it's like some deep deep conditioning of like am i allowed to do this guess what pisces you're allowed to do whatever the fuck you want whatever you want you want to move move you want to get a different car get a different car you want to leave this person this contract this gig it's no longer suiting you do it you don't always have it doesn't always have to be this like very regimented i have to do it a b c sometimes it's a f why and it just is what it is yeah with the moon at the bottom confirming on the full freaking moon you're allowed to take the leap of faith pisces i don't know this this is going to be healing and abundant and it's inspiring for you there could be this could be the way in which you you meet the right people if you're like seeking a certain kind of tribe or work dynamic like work environment work culture or a romantic partner all of that's over here but it's um it's first on the road again solo energy and then that stuff is also showing up once you've like kind of arrived in that peacefulness of like oh yeah that did work out this pathway is much better this route worked for my heart this route worked for my bank account this route worked for my creativity and inspiration and it's because i dove into the unknown i took this one Page of Pentacles, this one inkling, this one sign, this one piece of evidence, and I rolled with it. I dove into the deep end. Trying to 
trust yourself, Pisces. The world, two of cups, anything else with this? That was the magician that wanted to pop. Yeah. Two of cups and justice, also two of cups. This this new way, whatever, I don't know, Pisces, whatever this new thing is, the new, the new pathway, the new route, the new team, you're allowed to just trust it because it looks like there's so much more um, balance, harmony, happiness over here. There's a lot of like potential people who you, I'm seeing like have not met yet and also signifies a closing of a frequency where the types of people you used to attract or be attracted to, that's that looks like that's wrapping. I see a potential new romantic partner on the table, but it's like you have to actually arrive in this place first. Or if it's, I'm speaking so 3D. If it's not a place, it's a frequency. Because when your frequency changes, you also, you go to different places in your actual geographic location. Um, but Justice and Two of Cups is, uh, that's big Libra partnership energy. It's balanced. There's a lot of truth here. And that Two of Cups is soulmate energy. I love this. Any advice for Pisces? Oh my God, they're like, yeah, you're allowed to leave. <laughs> Knight of Wands, leave. Seven of Pentacles, whatever it is that you invested in, it looks like the crop has grown. You like, you got what you needed or you've collected as much um, lessons or skill sets that you possibly could have, especially if this is a boss, some kind of like wonky ass boss, right? You got everything that you were supposed to. Seven, eight sequence now it's time to go look at that that's an eclipse moon too right so there were probably aspects to the downside of this situation that you weren't seeing before but it wasn't time for you to see them it was time for you to learn it was time for you to um, experience it was time for you to collect your skill sets build your confidence and now it looks like you're seeing something that was not visible to your ability it wasn't visible to you with where you were at intuitively mentally period but now you see it and what whatever it is that you saw you can't unsee it it's also on the table it's very clear this is like a dead end contractor situation with a person or place and now it's time to go because when you leave that when you leave the eight of cups you end up at the nine of cups which is the emotional fulfillment that goes with that nine of pentacles anything else why is it in reverse it's funny that a lot of these cards on this side which is the path they it seems like you're going down or they want you to go down it's like things it feels like haven't come to fruition yet maybe you have to like make a decision wow on the other side of this leap of faith is your harvest it is your celebration eight cups and three cups is 11 cups there's like some kind of manifestation that's coming in it's on the other side of the comfort zone king of wands looking at the fool in reverse remember his energy he asked for forgiveness not for permission remember before i was like maybe you felt like you weren't allowed to do this this person doesn't worry about permission he gives himself permission that might be what spirit wants you to do right now can I get a little clarity on the king? Ooh, star at the bottom. Ooh, ten of swords in reverse. That will be clearing out. I think I said that earlier. Yeah, we had the eight, the king, and the queen. That was ten swords. You're clearing out some kind of painful ending or wound from the past when you do this. Here you go. Ten of swords to an ace of cups. It's an ending to a beginning. Fulfillment from the divine cup overfloweth i love this oh yeah confirming eight of swords at the bottom five of swords too this really could be a work thing um five of swords hangman eight of swords you it's like the chaos at some point became visible to you or or, or the conflicting energy like this conflicts with your vibration became visible to you and you're like oh i'm if i stay here i'm i'm perpetuating stuck Sometimes people read the hangman as stuck energy. I don't usually do that, but because it came out with the eight of swords, this pers perspective that you've gotten through your healing, through your ascension, through these portals is now showing you, okay, this pathway, this route, done. If you stay, you will be stuck. It is up to you though. Anything on that ace of cups? 
<laughs> plots. They're like, yeah, you're allowed to get out. You're allowed to end this page of pentacles. This is a message of good news. Wow. Which is going to result in you making a judgment call. This could be like a competitive offer, right? Five of Wands, Judgment, Page of Pentacles, deciding like, is this offer on the house right? Is this offer from this person at this company correct for me? Or it's like a download, a sign, something that you see and you're like, I'm going to make a judgment call on this and I'm going to, I'm going to acknowledge this, everything I've trained for, it's coming up now. I love this Pisces. Give Pisces a little pat on the back. Anything else, Spirit? I hope I see you guys at the full moon ceremony later. It'll be good to see you guys. I don't even know what I just asked. <laughs> Six. The lovers. Gemini energy. It is some kind of correspondence. Like big, big correspondence, contract, something. Page Pentacles, offer of good news. The lovers always like, this is fun. This is a new beginning. This is a new way to connect. This is a... This is a more passionate f way forward. Could even be like a better, you know, if this is a, about people, there's like a better person that fits your current frequency now. Trust what you've learned over the last, let's say over the last six months. Trust what you've learned over the last six months. Because you are about to bridge yourself over to the other side, whatever that means. The other side of all these fives. Yeah. All right, Pisces. Smooch me on the like button, would you, babe? Love this. I'm sending you guys so much Reiki love and healing. Pisces, hold my hands. Take a big deep breath in through the nose. And slowly release through the mouth. And affirm, I'm ready for my wish fulfillment. Yes, Pisces, I'll see you later.